Also because Bala is from Puebla, so to see the legendary wow. Bala play again, that's going to be amazing in person, and I'm sure that some international talent will be attracted to coming as, as well. You know, j just for the side events, and also how many players are going to come from Smash, dude. It's going to be amazing, but let's jump into this. We have another set in our hands. This is Oyo, or Pollux, as you want to call him, against Aqua. And we already saw how good Aqua is. Well, now he has a pinata in front of him called Bowser, and that's 86% in less than 10 seconds. Yeah, and we saw that in winner semis, like, uh, Aqua sent trio Pollux to the loser side. So this is like a Celtic run back for Pollux. But yeah, like if, if even even if you're the heaviest character of the game, Kazuya doesn't care because uh, on the winner semis uh, we were seeing stocks really really early, even for the king of the Koopas. And yeah, oh, okay, interesting like uh, option there. But the backer instantly taking down Bowser, and again, yeah, you're heavy, but this is Kazuya with rage, man, true rage. It's the only <laughs> rage like quote-unquote uh, rage in the game, but yeah, he's here with a lot of damage and the command grab a lot of damage. 70% in one interaction, what the hell is wrong with Castle? Yeah, look at that! It's not gonna be enough. And now an electric wind got this, and that should be another stock! And look wow. at Pollux. Look at Pollux on his chair, he's like, ah, oh, man, alright. Well, it is what it is, I can't do much about this, I can only try and do my best in neutral, and there you go, that's an up tilt to take Aqua's first stock, but I think it's pretty clear to all of us that whenever Aqua has the Rage on, that's pretty much half the stock gone for Pollux. Yeah, definitely. And Cassie, like, playing, taking here just with a little footsies, doing a uh, really casual walking down to... Oh, the Bowser, but the high read, like, amazing DI was not enough, but that's gonna be it. And, oh no, Pollux oh, saved, saved him! him. Oh, no, oh, dude! No. <laughs> not like that, you saved him, and, and again, that Panic Erdush, a lot of players being really careful with the uh, stage spikes but maybe you should react to that instead of trying to predict that and now all of a sudden it's a, a, an even game yes indeed it's all of a sudden we're back to even stocks and pollux might be able to catch another forward smash but careful with this one this is not an exchange you want to see already aqua has the ray shard back and mr pollux might just fall right here but no the get up attack destroys the side b and that backer is gonna do it by the way Earlier on, we saw that forward smash connect. It did not kill. The reason why it didn't kill is because Kazuya, as technically normal as he looks, is one of the top 10 heaviest characters in the game. So he is still yeah. going to live for a while. Yeah, yeah, that's also one of the biggest problems because, yeah, he has a lot of trouble getting in. He gets in, you, you die, but also because of the the reason that he tries to get in, they, for some reason, gave him a lot of weight, so he can go for all-ins more times than not. And yeah, we're back again for Town and City, and again, like, Pollux with the comeback, 3-0, but back-to-back. Like, he was getting ready for to be 3 stuck and he bring it back for the last second, and again, a lot of damage already for Kazuya. A lot, a lot of damage, the snipe, and we get jump still. Oh, but he is risking himself quite a bit whenever he tries to go for these downer spikes. He will win big, of course, but Pollux can also realize this at some point and try and capitalize off of it. There are a lot of trades that he can attempt. As I say that, though, wow. Aqua gets back stage control and he gets the conversion off of the electric with Godfist. And we're back to Kazuya Town again, baby! That's 37 already back at a fav favorable percentage, more than a stock of difference. Yeah, a lot of damage. Oh, uh, Pollux with a good reaction there, but again, doesn't matter because you make a, a mistake. And yeah, like you said, look at the Pollux cam. He's like, okay, I can't do anything. I can't make any mistakes because one uh, bad uh, input, one bad read, and my stocks are gone even as heavy as I am. He's going to go for the pressure down uh, there. Uh, Aqua coming back, and again, we have the Rage. That command graph, yeah, that's super fast. Uh, it's gonna kill, but yeah, like 40 damage, almost 40 damage from that uh, thing. It's very scary, and again, the pressure, and that's gonna be it! I didn't know what kind of move was that, like one of the forward up tilts or something. But yeah, Kazuya has the power, has the tools. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, the character with the most moves in the game. Yes. And 
Yeah, that's gonna be harsh. A lot of things that he can do and you don't expect at all. Actually, well, let me count them real quick. I believe that Kazuya has somewhere around 40-something moves. But, wow. you know, that's actually cutting it real low from his moveset in Tekken. I don't know if oh, you yeah, guys, for sure. You know, the Tekken movesets are over 100 moves at times. Some characters yeah. have like 80 or something, but it's still a lot. So, yeah, Tekken, guy, Tekken gods, they know their stuff. They pretty much study a whole Bible of a game to really be competitive. Yeah, and one of the things that I've always loved about Tekken even from the PS1 era, like every lame is a button, so yeah, you have a lot of moves and a lot of combinations. But look at the combination here, Lilat plus the Piranha Plant. Really weird, like, a stage character, but yeah, like, Bowser is, is, isn't making it, so let's try the secondary. Maybe that uh, strings from the up tilts, the, the cannonball that the uh, neutral V from the, the, the plant has. Maybe try to stop the pressure, but no, it's, it's getting really bad here. And you know, the Batui is probably the best course of action here. That's why Pollux would want to bring out a plant, but that's a zero to death. It yeah. really isn't looking good for him, even though he gets a few hits here and there, this time with a poison. Well, we don't really see him win in neutral. That's the problem here. And usually Piranha Plant, like the name says, is a trap character. It's a piranha, yeah. it wants to eat you. Piranha Plant sets traps, but clearly Aqua has no interest in whatever Trams Pollux has to set. Look, he's playing his own game. He's like, I'm waiting for you, buddy. I'm not going in. Look at this. Yeah, pretty, pretty uh, movement there. I mean, he is walking there, dashing that Korean uh, forward dash, if you can say Korean that. Korean back dash. <laughs> well, yeah, forward, yeah, no, let's no, call no, it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's go it forward because he's going like, all yeah. in with dashes and all of invulnerability here the, there for Cassia too and yeah oh my god this could be it it could be it again the pressure again from uh Kasuya making a lot of damage and making a lot of uh coverage there and oh my god it's gonna be it no we're gonna be leaving but we don't have jump and we have the armor there very careful for very uh, dangerous place for both players and we have now the rage and one command grab away but no the snipe well, at least we're not gonna take the three star. Indeed, there is a stock being taken, and if you recall, the first game was kind of looking like this. Bowser was about to get three stock, then he made the comeback. But this one is looking a lot more tough. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be super honest with you guys. I don't see Pollux making a comeback, although. Aqua did start making a lot of mistakes last time, and now all of a sudden he's at 100. But that should be it, and that's going to be game number three. We're going into game number four. Yeah, and. How, how, what could you do? I mean, I know uh, the Sora is there for, for Pollux too, but again, I mean, you could try because the, the, the concern I have, like, he's very light too, not, not Sephiroth's the weight, but he, Sora is very light too. But again, you, you're dying for any conversion, even with Bowser, so, like, you, you can rock that. If you're, like, uh, scared about the, the knockback and the power that Kazuya has, I mean, not even Bowser can have it, and yeah, we're gonna go back for Bowser, and we're gonna have uh, the Kalos Pokemon League, the biggest stage uh, from the Blast Zone's perspective, so maybe trying to live a little bit longer, but yeah, again, Kasuya, <laughs> the power he has is, is ridiculous sometimes. Oh, absolutely. Kazuya will catch you off guard a lot of times. I mean, it even catches Bowser and Piranha Plant off guard, and those two characters are heavy. One of the heaviest characters in the game, the other one of, like, top... 12 or something, it's also pretty heavy in Prime Plan. But there you go. This is Kalos Pokemon League, by the way. Bowser yeah. should should not be dying like this, but he is because it's constantly in front of him. Oh, oh okay. We gotta hey, catch that jump. Yeah, and yeah. Both characters oh no, the up no, yeah. No. The, the reversal went too far, I guess. And yeah, like at zero in your probably last game here in the tournament is gonna be a really uh, bad uh, thing for the mentality of, of the player, but uh, I mean, we, we saw the Pollux making the comeback with Bowser, so he's gonna try again, and the pressure, he's going so deep for Kasuya. Yes, indeed, this pressure keeps on building, and although the edge guard should be good for Pollux, I don't really see him 
using all his resources here. He is more so holding back. He is kind of like jumping back before he really wants to try anything. He wants to see how Aqua moves before he goes in. And whenever you're waiting for your opponent like that, it's a solid strategy. But I think Kasia has already shown that when it comes to trading, he is going to win most of the time. But we are in the last stock situation, so Pollux can still make this win back, even with the SDNL. Yeah, I mean, oh no, he could be. It, oh, the platform saved him. Amazing for for Pollux. And yeah, he can still make it. Bowser has a lot of power too. He has a lot of uh, tools for to keep Kasuya out of stage, but he needs that grab. He needs that hit to make him out of stage. We got it. Okay, gonna go for the up throw. Uh, like, kind of juggles there. But yeah, the fair from Bowser is a really scary. Covers a lot of things, even from behind a little bit. But the snipe's gonna be it. No, not enough. And again, another snipe. But yeah, that's gonna be it. You dodged the snipe again, but you are so, so burnable again uh, against that uh, air dodge. A lot of recovery for the air dodges, and yeah, Paul is gonna be like uh, out of the tournament again. Third, third place, not a bad placement. Congrats for him. A lot of good players here, and but sadly you got uh, double eliminated by the same player, by the same character, Kasuya, being a lot of problems here. Oh, you're right.